Hello everyone, today let us understand how to design AAC watt meter using Arduino Uno and PZEM004T. This meter is going to be different from a normal conventional meter in, in a way that it is going to be helpful for measuring different electrical quantities, not only power. This meter can measure also energy and current, voltage, frequency, power factor. And this meter also can be used to protect our electrical circuits when it is in the measurement stage. So if this meter is connected for measurement and this meter can uh, give a protective measure until uh, up to certain extent, yeah, so this can, um, you know, check the over current, it can check the over voltage, under voltage and uh, the frequency variations and power factor and frequency so as per our requirement we can you know the turn on and turn off the relay in such a way that, that it can isolate the load from the source when this meter is being used so this is the advantage of uh, using this meter and then this meter is going to be very simple and we are going to use very few components to design this particular circuit and the implement and implementation is very very simple and uh, cost effective watt meter let us uh, get into the uh, project uh, the circuit diagram is represented here so which is almost the same like the circuits which I have given earlier for uh, load protection so here we have uh, Arduino Uno and uh, you can use any other Arduino boards as well uh, if you want a compact design you can use uh, even the smaller size Arduino uh, boards whichever you are uh, preferring it yeah, so we have Arduino Uno here and we have a relay so which is going to act as a, uh, you know, the isolating device in case of any um, abnormal conditions like over current or over voltage or under voltage frequency changes. This uh, things we are going to design in in terms of uh, code so at what time or what situation you want to isolate the circuit will be designed in the uh, coding and we have the PZEM004 this is the main uh, component of this uh, device device so which is going to measure all the electrical quantities uh, only one thing you must remember is that this device cannot be used for measuring uh, the voltage greater than 260 or 270 volts so it is safe to use for single phase uh, circuit and then also this device cannot be used for measuring the DC so for DC measurement uh, hope you remember that I have given the another circuit using INA226 and INA219 so which you can use it for measuring the DC power and the current voltage and so on so this uh, particular device is um, designed and uh, put in use only for measuring the AC electrical quantity and it is very much safe and uh, the implemented circuit uh, will be shown little later so this is the circuit diagram which is going to have uh, these components and uh, we have the LCD to display all our uh, electrical quantities here so the implemented um, product will be looks like this so as I shown the um, left corner yeah so let us see um, the testing so this is actually the testing which uh, I have done after I completed the product um, so which shows the voltage current power and the power factor frequency and so on so this is the code actually we uh, we have discussed uh, this piece at em 4t uh, in the earlier videos it is all the same uh, procedure so we are going to include the header file for this piece at em 4t and it is version 3 so in market it is available version 2 and version 3 better to go for version 3 and uh, this is going to use a software serial so I am going to use pin number 11 and 12 for RXTX and I have included the liquid crystal and uh, which is going to have I2C interface so I just put the header file for I2C here and then the address for the LCD is 27 and it is 20 into 4 um, size LCD so it is 20 into 4 mentioned here and this is the relay which I am going to use for uh, you know isolating the circuit in case of abnormal condition in normally this relay will be in on condition when you connect the 
device for measurement it will take all the readings in case of any abnormal condition as we designed so this relay will open the circuit and it will isolate our uh, circuit from uh, the meter from the uh, abnormal condition and we have uh, in the setup in the setup we are just uh, mentioning about the serial port we have just given baud rate of 9600 and we just begin LCD for uh, displaying all the electrical parameters in LCD and uh, we just display here power meter and uh, pin mode this 10 is the output so the relay is going to act as an output and uh, in, in the beginning of the program itself I just enable this uh, relay so that uh, it will be on in at all the time until otherwise there is abnormal condition happens and we start the measurement of uh, electrical quantities using pzem0040 and uh, pzem dot voltage of this function is going to bring the voltage measurement from the uh, device to the arduino and uh, if it is available it is going to print if it is not available it is going to say that the device is not having uh, the supply or it is the error reading voltage will be displayed or it will also mention no supply or error this is the message you will get in case of you don't have connect any supply and you turn off the meter and similarly you are going to um, take the current uh, values and then power value energy value here and then uh, we are going to print every uh, quantity in serial monitor and the frequency and power factor all these data are being uh, taken from the sensor and it is going to be displayed in the serial monitor once you have all these data, so you can decide which one uh, you you want to display in the LCD, and then also you can decide uh, what kind of protection you need use when you are using this meter. So whether you want a over current protection or voltage protection, or you want a frequency protection, or in case of um, you know your power factor changes if it has to trip or something like that. No, so this same meter uh, can be used for all the type of protection and you know see the using only one relay you are going to you know conditionally turn on turn off this device in case of over voltage or anything and this uh, condition also will be displayed there in case if it is uh, this you know um, tripped because of uh, over voltage or under voltage it will mention or it will show in the uh, you know lcd so you will understand because of what reason this particular device is tripped or it will open the circuit so uh, I have given a simple condition so if the voltage is greater than uh, 0 and less than 245 as I mentioned it can measure up to safely uh, 260 so I just limit it to 245. So within this voltage range it is going to display all the values like voltage current and frequency power factor frequency uh, sorry um, power factor everything and then um, uh, also I have mentioned uh, some uh, cases it's a sample you can change these numbers and uh, you can change even the conditions uh, while voltage is less than 2 I just given this 2 maybe you can give 220 or 200 so for under voltage I just mentioned for 2 so if the voltage is under than less than 2 so uh, let us assume it is a 200 so when the voltage is uh, less than 200 so it may show under voltage and uh, it will trip the circuit and if the voltage is greater than 246 it is going to show the over voltage uh, information and also it is going to trip and uh, for current protection if you see the current if it is greater than 2.5 this number can be changed you know so if you want if we want only 1 ampere or 10 ampere this device can go up to 100 ampere so you can uh, change this number according to your requirement so if this um, current rating grows more than 2.5 then it will show overload and also it will open the uh, circuit so this is a simple coding for uh, our uh, you know watt meter so though uh, I, my ultimate goal is for measuring the power i have all the uh, you know values so i am just displaying it and also i am giving extra protection for my uh, device so this is the implemented uh, uh, you know um, product so where we have on and off switch to enable the power for this inside i have put on 9 volt battery for powering the our uh, lcd and um, all other components 
and this um, supplies L and N is going to be input and output so where you are going to connect a line and neutral of a single phase uh, supply and this side you are going to connect a load very simple and uh, there is no complication at all as such uh, the conventional meters how you are going to use same like that but here there is no uh, range or something like that so you can just directly connect it so it will adjust by himself itself so line and neutral if it is connected and if you take the line and neutral here for the load and then switch on the power then immediately it will measure start measuring the values and it will adjust the ranges as well in case if there is a abnormal condition then it will open up the circuit let us see how it is getting implemented let us see a simple sample video so i have connected uh, this uh, power uh, device measurement device and uh, i have a variable voltage source and i have a simple load uh, which is going to be a uh, incandescent lamp so let us see how it works i'm going to turn on the mcb for getting the power and uh, this is the voltage a variable point so you can see here in the screen there is no supply or error because there is no um, voltage is applied it is less than 2 uh, volt or whatever the assigned value here so because of that it shows no supply or error so I'm going to slowly increase the voltage so that uh, you can understand the load is getting on and uh, actually uh, there will be a small delay here and uh, because of that uh, the the values are being displayed till late so now you can see the voltage here in the analog meter and uh, as well as in our device the voltage and uh, it is actually under watts lamp so since you have the voltage and uh, things like that less so that you are getting 27 and when you are increasing slowly voltage to rated voltage then you will see almost near to uh, under watts I'm slowly increasing the voltage and uh, you can see here it is crossed 100 volt and you can see here 115 volt here so here it is almost 110 and here it is also 110 and the current also keep increasing according to the uh, voltage increases and the power you can see the respective power power factor since it is an incandescent lamp it is going to be power factor 1 and uh, so and this is a supply of frequency so it is which is 50 hertz So you can see the voltage and uh, current uh, power frequency and power factor all these data are displayed since the lighting is from the top uh, there is a glare actually you can see clearly when when you are using this device physically so this is the readings what we get for the applied voltage and uh, applied uh, connected load hope you understood the concept and it is very clear simple and in case of any doubts please let me know in the chat box i will i will be very happy to clear your doubts and uh, if you need the code as well as i will share it in the uh, comment box and uh, you can take it from the google drive if you like the video please like share and comment and subscribe for more thank you